2014, I will have the privilege of having represented the citizens of the 12th Congressional District of North Carolina in multiple geographic configurations for 21 years. Shortly after that, uh, on January 6, 2014, I will resign my position in the United States House of Representatives and be sworn in as director of the Federal Housing Finance Agency, the position for which I've been nominated by President Obama and confirmed by the United States Senate. I'm honored to have represented the 12th District for these years, and I want to express sincere thanks to my constituents, my supporters, my friends, my staff, and my family, even to the press, um, for the support they have provided. Will you miss the politics of it all? You know, I've never been a politician, to be quite honest with you. I mean, uh, those of you who have covered me over the years, um, you know, I don't know much about sticking my finger up in the political wind and testing the way the winds are blowing. Um, I think it's a lot more important to do what you think the right thing is to do. And, um, and I think that's what we've tried to do over these years. Uh, the politics of it is a necessary evil. The fundraising is just crazy. I mean, we are, we are off the charts. Uh, on the fundraising side uh, now, and um, it's demeaning, it's, um, uh, but it's necessary, you know, that's the way politics is done. I will not miss that one I would. Um, I absolutely have hated over the years getting on the phone asking people to contribute to a political campaign, and I'm not good at it, I, I hated to do it, I'm so glad I haven't been in a district where I have to, and, and I see my colleagues doing it every single day. How can you do that without at least having the appearance that you uh, that 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 you you are offering something in exchange for? It's just very difficult. So that part of it, I'm not missing at all. Uh, age, gender, um, you know, there's so many different divides. And you get 435 people in the house, and every one of them has a different perspective on these issues. And people say, well, why can't you all agree up there? Well, we can't agree because these are very difficult issues, and the people are having trouble agreeing, you know? Um, so you try to... You try to do your best to bring your constituents' perspective on these issues into this because that's what Congress was intended to be, the crucible for resolving these disputes. And, you know, quite often we can't even resolve them in our own household. 